All right, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Pedro Galvez. Uh, I'm a third year student uh, at ASICS. So I'm going to present my work on the phase segmentation uh, in Ancure Composites prepex using deep learning. So uh, we all know that uh, during composite manufacturing, since we are in the real world, defects and variability arise in the form of unsaturated uh, fiber bed and entrapped air. For example, interplay porosity, interplay porosity, resin voids. And also we have design constraints such as corners that uh, provide, that produce resin rich areas, wrinkles or interlamina voids. So it would be really good if we could actually provide an accurate quantification of the different phases in an NQ prepared composite so that we can then feedback, uh, provide a feedback to the manufacturing process to improve it and reduce the amount of defects. So, in my case, what I did was to prepare an Ancure sample. I CT scan it, and then I generated a 3D uh, grayscale image, as we can see here with the interlaminar voids and the dry areas. This is uh, now now it becomes now it comes the, the difficult part in which we have to separate the different phases. Uh, normally, we have to use a threshold, so we place a threshold in the histogram in order to separate the voids, uh, dry areas, and resin. And this technique uh, provides uh, nice results for voids. It still misses a lot of the really small voids, but it really uh, fails in segmenting the dry areas. As we can see in the uh, right hand uh, image, it provides uh, applying a threshold to the grayscale image provides a lot of false positives, false negatives. It doesn't really capture the dry areas themselves in a, in a fully form. Uh, so it, is, it doesn't represent, um, provide a, a an accurate representation of, of what we are looking for. Uh, but I uh, uh, designed and trained a deep learning model in order to, uh, to, to automatically segment the dry areas in this 3D degree scale image. And the result of this segmentation, applying the deep learning is much more cleaner, much sharper, the false positives, false negatives as are greatly reduced and the accuracy of the uh, representation of the dry areas in the 3D microstructure is, is highly improved. Finally, what I did was to compare the two segmentations. Uh, in the blue line, we have the, the segmentation provided by the deep learning and the red line is the one uh, provided by the threshold. And we can say that deep learning really outperforms thresholding for both interlamina voids and dry areas uh, segmentation. And finally, uh, deep learning successfully segments volumes with low porosity. Mm, thresholding really fails on the task of segmenting really small uh, volumes. So uh, that's it uh, all for my site, uh, and thank you very much.